Hey guys, since we got our new rig, we got more honeydews for Chris and I to tackle. Today we're going to install the full motion mount on our TV, put some LED lights behind it, and move our soundbar system. Trying to utilize all the space that's available in this beautiful new trailer. Yep, we're going to trick it out just for our lifestyle, so stay tuned. It pimp my ride. <laughs> pimp my trailer? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Step one was taking the TV off. Step two is going to be taking the rigid mount off. <laughs> That's easy. First part of the mount is installed on the back of the TV, which is great. We didn't have to use any adapters. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here. And I'm going to figure out exactly what height to mount this. The goal is to be able to put the sound bar up top and still have the TV function. Uh, it's not gonna be able to be removable like it was before, but I think this will actually open up this space and that space quite a bit. So the next step, let's figure out height. <laughs> I'm gonna set the TV down so I don't drop it. Because <laughs> my beautiful bride just told me, that's probably not a good place for that. And she's right. Next step of the project's done. I mounted this. Uh, one thing I did do, because I was concerned that the four mounting points weren't enough, I actually put 10 screws across. So I ran three across the top, four down the middle, and then three across the bottom. And I'll show you here if you keep an eye on this. Um, this is the difference between the four screws and having 10. When I move this, the whole trailer rocks. This thing is gonna be super secure. Make sure our TV doesn't fall. Took way longer than expected, required modification, some assembly required. Overall, very, very, very happy. This is the stock location of the TV. I now have the ability to pull it out. I can tilt it up, left, right, whatever I want to do. It works really well. And overall, you can see this place is a hot mess. <laughs> Martha's got me hustling. What I really like is the ability to get in behind the TV. We will be able to put a printer on one side and whatever the boss lady says on the other side. So we decided not to put the light strip that we had already purchased on the back. It wasn't sticking well, so I'm gonna do a little Amazon research and figure out what's gonna work best. Plus the plug, I'm gonna have to find an adapter with an extension cord for it. Yeah, if we could find a way to do like a recoil, like a real one, so when we pull it out, it extends when we put it back it retracts back in that'd be really cool so if you guys know anything that has like a retractable plug or an extension cord let us know that would be an awesome fix for this yeah. here we go folks this is gonna be dangerous two and a half inch hole two and a half inch filler I'm gonna drill a hole straight through here to run all the wires for my sound bar I'm tired of everything running up over the top so wish me luck <laughs> no turning back now. <laughs> All right. Looks like we did a good job there. Now I get to crawl underneath, drill another hole, go on the side, drill another hole. All right, so I'm actually inside where my fireplace drawer is beneath the TV cabinet. And I'm gonna be drilling the same two and a half inch hole up through the floor of that right dead center of my cabinet so that I can run the wires. Yeah. <laughs> That's a mess, holy cockadoodle do. You got that? Look at my arm. Oh, it's nice. It's all in my hair, too. Okay. Well, you always say sawdust is man glitter, so I'm sparkling. <laughs> I'm just going to get it centered enough. All right, the two and a half inch hole is in. Just like a desk, it has a little insert to hide the wires. If you look inside, let's see if we can get the right angle here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the two and a half inch hole that we drilled through the bottom. We're gonna, and they will come up right here on this hole so that we no longer have wires going across the face of our entertainment center. This is gonna be a, something that'll make me twitch a lot less. 
I'm routing the HDMI cable down through the hole, down through the hole in the bottom, into the input for HDMI 2 ARC, so I'll be able to control it with the Apple TV. You've got a nice little wire holder here. Put that there, and then we're gonna stick a zip tie, keep the wire up out of the visibility when you're sitting down watching TV, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. All right, it's all installed now. Got the wires neatly ran down so there's no more sticking up in front of our TV or coming across the fascia, which drives me nuts. Now everything is run neatly. And I just got to crawl back underneath, make sure that it's all tucked away so that it won't impact the drawer going back and forth. What started this was utilizing the space behind here so that we could have access to the back. That's a massive amount of space that wasn't being used and with a rigid mount that came from the factory, we weren't able to get a printer back here. We also weren't able to have all the wires neatly ran. So everything came across the front. By moving it to the back, we opened up probably three feet of space. We have a very nice setup for the TVs that tilts, it pans left and right. The sound bar, the sound bar sits perfectly on the ledge and because it's an Atmos, I wanna leave it down here versus having it up top. And all my wires now run on the, from the Apple TV and from the sound bar into the hole through the back, up, and then out the side, and into the TV. So we have a very nice, clean install. The last thing I want to show you is how we actually tie this up when we're going to travel day. All right, I got to give a shout out to my buddy Greg. This was his idea on how to secure this. This is nothing more than Velcro. What we're going to do is you wrap it all the way around behind the mount, run it to the front, tighten it up across this side, and we're going to do the same thing on the other. Only secret is make sure the soft side of the Velcro is facing the lens or the TV so that you don't scratch it. That's it. As simple as that. Now the TV won't go anywhere. It's held in place. The printer's held in place. We're ready for travel day. Very simple solution. So far, we put about a thousand miles on the trailer since I've installed this mount. I really wanted to test it before we put this video out. I don't want anybody else doing this and finding out, oh crap, it's not going to work well or we have a problem. Glad to say 100% no movement. Everything is still secure. So the TV mount is a win. The Velcro straps are a win. And now that we have cosmetic improvements, life is good. I'm extremely happy because when we watch TV, now the TV sticks out about another 18 inches to two feet closer. So I don't have to go buy in the 70 inch TV. Next up, surround sound speakers. Why? <laughs> because I can. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. And we'll see what other honeydews we have on the list. So stay tuned. Help me. <laughs>